What is Parkinson's disease? What are the symptoms and treatment options? Parkinson's disease is a slow and progressive brain disease that affects brain cells. Cells in certain areas of the brain produce dopamine, which regulates the control and flow of body movements. Degeneration of dopamine-producing cells results in decreased levels of dopamine production, in which case symptoms of Parkinson's disease appear. The disease affects both sexes. Although Parkinson's may be diagnosed at younger ages, the disease usually affects the age group 40 to 75, and most commonly people over the age of 60. There are four main symptoms of Parkinson's disease. The first symptom is tremor. Tremor usually starts in hands or arms. It may appear at rest and disappear when the affected body part is moved, yet it may be persistent in certain postures. The second symptom is slowness of movement, which is called bradykinesia. Slowness of movement appears in the movements of the arms, legs and body, reduces the ability to swing arms while walking, causes walking problems and leads to a decrease in facial expression due to deformed facial mimic muscles. The third symptom is stiffness in the arms, legs and trunk, in other words, rigidity. And the fourth symptom is postural instability, which causes increased forward bend of the torso and shortened step length. Balance problems are also commonly observed in this symptom. Apart from the listed four cardinal clinical features, other symptoms also appear. For example, the patient may have abnormal, smaller or shaky handwriting or may experience problems with signing their signature. The patient may also suffer from slurred or slow speech. The main symptoms may be accompanied by reduced sense of smell, constipation and changes in blood pressure. Another symptom is REM sleep behavior disorder, which is usually characterized by dream enacting behaviors, such as talking, yelling, kicking or punching during sleep. And as I said before, patients with Parkinson's disease have stiffness in their limbs, also called rigidity, which causes pain in the torso, arms and legs. The goal of our treatment for Parkinson's disease is to reduce symptoms and improve the quality of everyday life. We have some basic parameters to consider before treatment. Numerous factors such as the patient's age, stage of the disease and adverse effects of the medications used are taken into consideration. The main goal of treatment is to increase dopamine level. Early intervention is critically important. The treatment should be started before dopamine reserves are depleted. There are certain medications used to elevate and maintain dopamine levels. The progress of disease may be accompanied by findings such as depression and dementia. Such findings also need to be treated by medication. Surgical treatment options are available for Parkinson's disease. When medications prove ineffective or cause adverse effects, a neurosurgical procedure called deep brain stimulation may be applied. Additionally, the method known as PEGJ has been more commonly in use in recent years. The method involves the release of liquid dosage forms through the stomach into the small intestine. Another important treatment option for Parkinson's is physiotherapy. Personalized exercise programs should be developed in order to help patients stay active in daily life.